And hey there, it's me, Mudlink, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today, we're going to be starting Mar Super Mario 3D World. Now, this is probably something you didn't expect me to play. Um, well, I wasn't originally going to have this Let's Play happen now, but I suddenly got in the mood thanks to a friend of mine. So, you know what? Why not? Oh, hang on, I'm just going to adjust this a bit. There you go. So, you know what? Why not? It's, um... It's a game that I uh, there's a, there's things I don't like about this game. There's things I like about this game, but um, we'll have to get into that once like we once we start playing, you know. Anyway, Wait, hang on, let me check my inputs for a second. Oh no, we're not put there. You go, there you go, right right here. So anyway, uh, I guess this was kind of like in a weird spot for the Wii U. Uh, Fucking controller. Because the Wii U really didn't have much games, even at this time. <laughs> like this was a year before this game. This game, I believe, came out a year before Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Four. And the Wii U was kind of just. Well, I mean, the Wii U for its entire run was pretty dead. Uh, no, there was barely any games that would be on it. And whatever games were on it were kind of not really advertised all too well. This entire, like, console was just a big fuck-up. I'm thankful, at least, that Simu exists so that I don't have to buy myself a $300 piece of fucking plastic just for games that might be good. Some games that might be good. And some games that might not, you know? It's like, I was able to play a lot of these games. I, never, I myself never owned a Wii U. And yeah, and I'm planning on doing that anytime soon. <laughs> So that's why I, I do this. Anyway, why? Wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, the gamepad. Uh, I'm not using the gamepad for this, so. Hey, who to play as? Well, easy mode is Peach. <laughs> uh, you no, know, I like Luigi. So, I'm gonna play as Luigi. I could have maybe done something like multiple players, but since, you know, because of what's been happening out there. Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea to do that. Uh, there's one thing I can at least say, I am actually a pretty big fan of the music in uh, this one compared to other, like, Mario platformers. Oh, is it? Oh, it's... Oh, it's just... Oh, Jesus Christ, why is this game lagging out now? Yeah, she's just being like, oh, rescue me, Bowser's fucking up everything, you know? I'm just wondering. I guess like, yeah, it's like a bit different. Peach isn't getting kidnapped for this one at least. But I wonder how they didn't realize, oh, where the fuck has Bowser been, you know? Usually he's been trying to, he's trying to kidnap, kidnap the, he's trying to kidnap the princess. So, uh... How come all of a sudden they didn't realize, oh yeah, he's gone for this. Mario's getting a fucking front row seat right there. <laughs> Another little thing I like about this place is just the the hub world in general, you know. Although there's some problems with it. It's, there's a very little involvement in the hub world. It's just mainly... It mainly might as well, I guess, just be... Uh... Hang on a second. Let me... I think it should be fine, this. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, Hub World is not too much involvement, really. It's just like going through levels and coin hitting coin blocks. That's about it. There's very few things. Alright, let's go into the first world. Uh, first world's first level. World 1 1, Super Bell Hill. You can actually change it in the, char the character that you want to play as like, at any time. Oh, there you go. 
Like when you hold down run long enough, you get this little you get this little sprint thing, which is actually really nice. Makes things a bit more fast paced. Oh yeah, when you have, only have a, if you have the Wii U gamepad with you, you can easily spot like hidden coins and all that. But I really don't give a shit about like hidden coins. Yeah, there's like a hidden coin there. Anyway, now we get to see one of the the new power ups for this place for this game. We become a furry. We can yeet. We can just. Um, forget how to do the cat dive. Uh, probably gonna remember it one day, but like, yeah, there's certain moves I don't remember about this game since it's, it's it's been a long time. So yeah, you got yourself um, an extra slot. For, okay, you. Oh yeah, there you go. You gotta hold down the white. You have to press the button once and then hold it down after. Or, oh no, you just hold. You just put, you just hold it. That's how you do it. Okay, simple enough. I mean, this first level is honestly like decently big for a first level. Like, there's a lot of places to explore. There's all sorts of collectibles and all that. Uh, this just shows you, hey, you can climb. There you go. We got ourselves the first green star. And I guess, yeah, it's cool that it actually shows you, hey, you know, you have, there's like, it can show you that, hey, you know, uh, you know, if, in case, if you like got one later in the level, it can show you, hey, you know, you, you missed one at the beginning. It's, it's nice. Anyway, bunch of hidden coins here. I didn't even know this was here. I just came down here to see if this is like another collectible. Because... There are a lot of collectibles in this game. That's probably one thing I, I'm okay, I, I'm good with at first. But what they do with these collectibles, well, um, you're gonna have to see. Because yikes! All right. Nice, nice landing there, Luigi. Yeah, this game's slowing down a tiny bit. And it shows you that, hi, oh, yeah, the, the goal's right there, and you can try to see, oh, yeah, there's something up there. Anyway, now we got ourselves. We got ourselves a bunny here. Just like in, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's weird that they didn't decide to design them after, like, the, the Mario Galaxy bunnies. But, you know, it's fine, I guess. Okay. Okay, running this thing, it's kind of struggling at 60 FPS for some for some things. I mean, it's fine. Fine, it's fine with me. There you go. And we got ourselves a big old fucking. We got ourselves a, a mega mushroom, just like in. Uh, just like in the. Uh, in the, in the new Super Mario Bros. game on the, on the DS. So yeah, when you get the... Um, when you get yourself a... Uh, oh, it didn't disappear, wow. When you get yourself a Mega Mushroom after you turn back, you just... Uh, you just go back to like normal Luigi. Anyway, there's one up down there. Um, Chum did I fuck up or something? No, I think I'm... I think... Uh, I was thinking there was supposed to be a collectible there. I guess not? Alright. Anyway. Now we go inside this pipe here. And we get ourselves another collectible. A stamp. That's the two of the three collectibles we get in this game. Well, two of the three collectibles, sort of, we get. Is on the overworld, on like, on, in the normal levels, these are like... These are two you can get, but there's a third extra one that we're gonna, we're gonna be able to talk about as well. So, I guess this, yeah, this is here to be like, oh, if you run over here with the, the Mega Mushroom, you're gonna die, but I highly doubt you're gonna be able to reach it. And like, you have to really rush there. And anyway, the pipe, that pipe's there just in case you don't have any Super Bells, which... 
I'm surprised that you run out of them. Am I stupid or something? Where is it? Okay, well. That doesn't matter, just get extra points there. I'm gonna feel stupid. I'm, I'm gonna bet it's in here. No. Where the fuck is this last green star? Oh my god, don't tell me it's down there. It is. Okay, well, I think I can. Okay, it is. Okay, that was easy to get down to. And that's just a box there, be a little shortcut. And there we go. Got all the collectibles in regular level, and now you get this last part of the collectible. Getting to the top of the flagpole. Well, golden flagpoles that they call it. With the cat suit, you can climb up the pole. So, getting... Oh, gee, okay, the ground just disappeared under me. Yeah, there's a problem with emulation, uh, especially with newer consoles. It, it, they're still kind of in their testing form. I mean, it still works out per- it's still- it's still flying up. Out here. Okay, uh, ooh. Okay, yeah. Ending the level there really, uh, tanked the frame rate a tiny bit. So anyway, you get these cute little stamps. You got one of Cat Mario, uh... It's just- I think this is just, like, what shows you the, the collectibles you got. So... Levels that have flagpoles are gonna have a um, flagpole thing right there. You're gonna need to get those golden flagpoles because <laughs> I'll have to talk about why after. And you got a lot of stamps. I think there's like 90 something uh, st stamps in this game. Okay. World 1 2 Koopa Troopa Cave. Uh, Cave. Now there is a one up trick here. And I'm not gonna exploit it because, well, I mean. It's actually very easy to exploit. Oh yeah, there's nothing up here. Yeah, there we go, that's how I get fine. Okay. I just remember some controls, okay? It's been a while. Okay, that isn't the spot there, but you can easily tell what, uh... You can easily tell what, how, how to do the one-up trick. Anyway. Like, the one-up trick, you do here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show it off for a few, like, seconds. There you go, that's how you do the trick. There you go, I'm just gonna kill myself for that. Yeah, maybe I did it for a bit too long. <laughs> now I have 27 lives. Although I'm telling you right now, uh, you're never gonna run out of lives in this game. This, yeah, this this game is very um, easy. There's definitely one hard level I can think of. Besides that, yeah, very easy. Very easy, uh, level. very easy. Anyway, um, you know what? I'm just gonna add the fire flower here. Show off other power ups. Yeah, fire flower. It's been around for age. It's been around since the beginning, so uh, you know what it is. Fuck. I have you. Oh. Well, there's a trick you can do, or you can, where you can just like you can do like a, a like a, a fast jump or whatever after a ground pound, but it's like something I've never seen it used for. I end up doing it accidentally. I mean, I want to block up there, as if I needed it. I mean, it's just where multiple coins are. Fuck. I'm really not paying all that much attention, am I? Uh, there's, no, there's no green stars or whatever up there, right? No, uh, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. oh yeah, if an enemy decides to go inside the, the pipe, if you just enter the pipe as well, you're gonna kill them. 
It's not like being like, it's not gonna be like, oh, uh, you died. Yeah. It's not gonna be like, oh, you died because the enemy entered. Because that would have been fucking bullshit. Yeehaw! Yeah, you can do a side flip like you, you like you can in Super Mario 64. I believe this was like, like the the first time, uh, one of the first times. Uh, it came, I think it was like the first time it came back. Well, I mean, not counting. Um, oh fuck! I need a fire platform. I think I, there's like a, a a question block that I'll have one up ahead. Doesn't uh, actually. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, before we before we do that little puzzle, before we do the little torch puzzle. We have uh, a limited amount of time to kill a certain amount of enemies, and then we get ourselves a green star for it. There's a lot of different green ways to getting green stars. It's honestly something I kind of like about this. It's just, you know... What? Ah, uh, fuck. Hang on, let me, let me get a touchpad screen. Uh, nothing's happening with it. That's fine. I, I'm pretty sure there's something here you can do. Like... <laughs> oh. Okay, no, it doesn't seem like you can do anything with those. They're just there for decoration. Or just to show you there's something in between. That's odd. Honestly, anyway. I'm just gonna go back up there. Yeah, also, you you don't really have to worry about running out of time in most stages. There, there are certain stages where, yes, you don't have to worry about it. Here, no. Alright. Mini Goombas, you can- oh, fuck, I thought you can just kick them. That's whatever. Anyway, yeah. All I have is just a stamp and, the, and one golden- and one, uh, and one green star to get. Yeah, now that closes off. Yeah, of course, 100 coins equals equals a star, equals a 1-up. Right, there's the other green star. And there's a stamp. Got it! Got it. <laughs> That's why I like playing as Luigi, I love his little voice clips. Um, easy trick for this is either just uh, using a green shell or uh, using using a green shell or um, or using uh, the cat the cat power. Anyway, we got all the collectibles here. I'm not fucking up on this last part just in case, you know. I mean, I'm playing as Luigi, so my my hops are a bit hoppier, you know. Like, I make it there normally. But, you know, just to be extra sure. As I don't like revisiting levels to uh, just get those. Even though the levels aren't that long, it's kind of just a bit annoying to have to do all, like, have to do just in case you missed it, because you're going to need every single one. Every single collectible is necessary for this game. But you have to see that eventually. Anyway, um, it's only been 19 minutes. It's... This is very quick. It's been going by very quickly this episode, you know. I don't know how many, how many, like how long I want to make these videos for Su for Super Mario 3D World, but I feel like it's not gonna be too long of a series. Anyway, welcome to the Toad House. The small one's the best one to pick here. Yep. So honestly, I'd rather have two cat seeds. Actually, a uh, cat suit and a fire flower on the reserve. That's something. I'll do. And saves after you do everything. Anyway, now we have ourselves a little mini boss in the world. Charging Chuck Blockade. 
I forgot to mention each of the different properties for um each of the different properties. Each of the different properties for the, the character, so Toad's the smallest, so he gets hit the least amount. Oh, That's the end of the level. Yeah, everything disappears after you did a little course clear. That's kind of weird. But whatever. Yeah, those don't have stamps or... Those don't have stamps or golden flagpoles, of course. So anyway, uh, fuck, what was I gonna say? So yeah, different properties. So Mario is the, the balance of the bunch, you know? You can jump decently high. But not as high as Luigi, doesn't have any extra properties, and isn't small like Toad. So, you know, but like, you know, he's the, the all-arounder. Luigi has the highest hops, but he's the most, he's, he's the slipperiest of the bunch. So, when you're running around, then, uh, you know, you gotta be extra careful with, um, running off of, running off, accidentally running off the cliffs. With Peach, she has a decently high jump, but I don't think as high as Mario or Luigi, but she has a float, so uh, that's something that's good, at least. Anyway, there's something here. I'm gonna pick the big one this time. I can you can grab onto the side, the side of those. That's actually cool. Uh, I'll have two in here. You learn something new every day about this game. There's something you can't enter more than once, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, and yeah, Peach has a float, which is actually pretty good for collecting uh, the golden flagpoles. And then Toad, he... I didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. Luigi time. Time. You know what, you're gonna just see... Whatever. Then I see me beat this level again. Everything disappears! <laughs> so yeah, Toadie's the smallest of the bunch, she has the lowest jump. So, the, the, for him, it's like, oh, if you have a hard time, if you like, keep on getting hit by enemies, you know? You got someone who's smaller now, so it doesn't get hit as much. Honestly, Toad is someone I never want to fucking play as. Whatever. Anyway. Time for World 1-3. Mount Beanpole. This one, I actually really like this level. It's really vertical level. You can see how like how vertical it really is with the, these trees. You go up this tree and you get to see. Oh yeah, look, look how tall it is. It's pretty cool. You can even see the one of the collectibles there. One thing. Oh, I also love about the little binoculars. Anyway, uh, I guess the name things. Um, that's a Sprixy. Like your resident. It's like fairies or whatever. Your resident um, thing you have to save, I guess. Anyway, I forgot. I already got hit. God damn it. I forgot what those are called, the, those specific Goombas, but uh, yeah, they just have the cat power up, and sometimes they drop the super bell. Anyway, well, yeah, of course, these are, everyone knows what this is, you know, it's in, it's in Smash, so of course everyone knows what it is. I, still can't, I really still can't fucking believe that happened. A fucking piranha plant made it in. Uh, a fucking piranha plant made it in to Smash before, like... <laughs> oh, you're one of those people who want Waluigi or Gino? It's like, I mean, I know Gino's never gonna happen because of Square Enix. But it would've been nice to see Waluigi, it would've been more unique. I mean, actually, no, they're about as unique as each other, like... For moveset, movesets at least. You know, get a P-Switch puzzle here, just collect all the coins. Then you get a green star. But, like... I just felt it weird that it was, Piranha Plant was like a, just a fighter in general. Don't you agree? Like, Piranha Plant's fun, but it's just weird to see. I mean, I take Piranha Plant over Violet or Min Min, so... Yeah. Oh, uh, you're one of those people. <laughs> There's these filming those people in the comments. Oh, Ho's mad, ha ha ha. And it's like, okay, you wanna call me mad? Fine, you know. You're, I'm paying money for fucking um, the DLC, you know. I I would like you know decent choices for characters because like the rest of them were pretty cool, you know. I was thinking, hey, they're gonna follow like a specific uh, kind of like style 
with uh, the first pack, they're gonna be like, oh, it's like a lot of retro stuff, except for, I guess, Persona. Yeah, Persona was the only thing I was like, okay, maybe that doesn't really fit, that doesn't fit the retro theme. I think I was mainly just a fan, a fan pick for, like, Sakurai, since he loves Persona. But, like, the rest of them, you know, Hero, Banjo, Terry, they're all retro, you know? I, I love all of them. Like, Hero, I don't like the moveset of, but he, he's a very cool uh, character, like, to add into Smash. I just don't like the RNG factor in all of them. Anyway, you got a Power Star. Oh god, it's kind of... It like, it's starting to like, lag out a bit for that. And we got ourselves all the collectibles, thanks to that. At the end of those, it's always, um, pretty much almost always uh, a green star. I say almost always because I don't remember it being... I don't remember every single one of those places for that, but I'm pretty sure all of them, all of them that I remember are green stars. And we got ourselves like a mini boss here, basically. Jump. You gotta hit him when he's down, and then hit him again. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> Goomba doing the fucking meow. That's adorable. But there's one thing; it's at least adorable. I love the little cat outfits. They're just adorable. I'm just someone who likes cats overall. Oh, lovely. Yeah, ten point landing. Anyway, now here's what this shows you. Hey, you can climb up this, the flagpole. It's a nice little tutorial thing right there for that. Since all the other ones are pretty easy to get to the top, oh, the floor disappearing again. So, yeah, I've been going through these levels like quick, quick. I feel like for the most part, I feel like I'm going to be going through a, a world, an episode. <laughs> I like the song. And anyway, you got a little split path here. You can go on, go on either one of them. Just so you know, you can open the electronic menu from the home. I can't really do that actually, since it's a uh, semen. That's fine. I even need the electronic menu. We'll talk about that, that after. Anyway, let's go to Plessy's Plunging Falls. Anyway. Uh, you know, I guess, speaking of Smash stuff, I guess, like, you know, who would I have picked instead of, like, Byleth or Min Min? I mean, honestly, I would have picked, I would have put in Min Min as, like, a newcomer, or, like, maybe a DLC character for Smash 4, since ARMS, actually, no, ARMS wasn't out at the time. I'm like, like, I would have, like, made Min Min a part of the base roster, you know? Because at the time, when they were announcing the base roster, ARMS was, like, at least decently alive. But then, yeah, I was kind of too late for Min Min. I love Min Min and all. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. You can control the speed on the left stick or up and down. Press B or 2 to jump. Oh god. There's lag in there, but now it's fine. So anyway, like, what did I pick instead? Well, Min Min I would have been in the part of the base roster, honestly. Oh no, no, no. You can't backtrack in these levels. Got fucking damn it. Okay, this is one thing I hate about the plus C levels is this. I think there's something in here, yep. No, there isn't, just a shortcut. Yeah, the fucking go back. Go back and backtrack now, that's fine. I guess. These levels are kind of, this level this kind of level is cool. I mean I could just die, but no, I'm not gonna do that. My cat power up. Should have slowed down actually. Oh, there you go. Now I can get it. Who would I pick instead? Well, I mean, honestly, if, I, if I'm being completely honest, like, Byleth, sure, Three Houses is, like, it's, it's, I understand advertising for Three Houses, because, I mean, almost every single, almost every single Fire Emblem character that's ever been added to Smash has been because of, like, advertising. 
Because, I mean, that's how Marth and, Marth and Roy made it. And it advertised Fireman to the West, and Binding Blade was coming out around, the t around that time. And there was Ike with Path of Radiance. And then... And then there was, of course, Robin and Lucina for Awakening. And then... Fates. That was one thing I didn't like, though. Like, going the Roy route. Maybe I should be using the right stick instead for that. <laughs> oh no, I have to use it. I guess I used the D-pad for it. So yeah. So yeah, instead of Byleth, I would pick like... Honestly, since... Because of like how Byleth had... Fuck. And Byleth had fuck. You know what? I'm gonna exit course. How Violet had like all this style switching, you know, with the uh, Ariad Bar, Amir, and Fail, and all, and all that, and the sort of creator. You know what I would have done? Instead, put in Dante. You know, the MC3 was coming out on the uh, coming out on the Switch around that time, and then the first two DMC games are already on Switch. You know, like they already like aver they already like beginning with advertising uh, for for D DMC. Just hey, you know, Dante is fucking cool as shit. I'm not adamant, you know? All the style switching for him. I just I, I just rather it not be my life, you know? Uh, like, I have a lot of mixed feelings about Three Houses. Maybe I'll do a video about it one day. Seeing as how I have, you know, Dimitri as my profile picture. You know, people are probably wondering like what well, my thoughts on three houses are in a whole as a whole. Except for like people that know me in Discord circles. That I have talked extensively about three houses on Discord. Okay, good. Now I'm live. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to jump. Whatever, I have to go back to this level anyways. I'm probably just gonna go back to the level, like... After I'm done recording. Because, well, I mean, you already seen this level. So, yeah. There's a lot I can talk about with three houses, but I'll save that for, like... Yeah, maybe it's on video. I missed two fucking stars. Oh, my um, my controller got unplugged. Uh, this controller is really garbage. And sometimes it will happen where it's gonna, like, disconnect. Uh, I need the cat suit, but put it on just in case. Stage disappears! Wait, I only saw one of them. What was the other one I missed? Anyway, I got a plusy... Plusy sticker right there. Anyway, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go get it right now. I'll pause the recording. Anyway, now we can reach the castle. Maybe we can rescue one of the Sperxies. Yeah, pause the recording. I'm gonna go back and do this level. And get get the two uh, stars, get the two uh, stars I missed. Oh, um, yeah, I accidentally switched to Peach. So, uh, now you get to see me with Peach. Anyway, uh, the lottery machine showed up. I forgot this can happen sometimes. This can just give you extra lives. Even has the music from, I believe it was Mario 3? We have to 777 coins. That's if you get like all bells, I think, or. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. 
200 coins, so I've got three extra lives. I mean, I don't really, it's, yeah, it's only there for lives, pretty much. Anyway, I'm just, I'm probably, because of, like, how, I'm probably just gonna, like, keep on, I'm probably just gonna keep on going with the episode right now, instead of going back and getting that. I'm just gonna do the rest of the game now. Uh, Luigi time! Luigi time! Switch scramble circus. And we got these switchbacks. It's these switches that came from uh, that came from okay. Super Mario Galaxy. Why was I having a hard time seeing it? Which is nice, I guess, to see. Return. And you hit all the switches, and this door opens up. There. Man, this stage is kind of chugging a tiny bit. Oh. Random bees. Those aren't from Galaxy, though. <laughs> anyway, if we hit those, get ourselves a little boost up. Yeah, there you go. Now we get ourselves one of the green stars. I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna miss quite a few on our journey here, on our journey through this let's play, but I can just find them off camera, you know. Or just like... Yeah. Oh shit, I thought I could reach that. Whoops. Oh, there was no checkpoint. Actually, no, there was a checkpoint right there. I already forgot it existed. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was speaking about like Smash DLC before, and like who I replace Violet with. Who would I replace Min Min with? I have no idea, honestly. Since it's like a start of a new pack, I don't know if like what they want to do for the new pack, especially since we don't know who anyone else is. All I know is that. All I know is that Min Min's fucking stupid. Honestly, I, I'm not a big fan of the game, but I knew, like, when thinking about it, an ARMS character, while yes, would have made sense earlier on, they weren't gonna be fun to play against. That's a, because Sakurai likes to um, make it play like the games that they're from. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there you go, you just have to find the one in the right place. There you go, it's like, I can't break all these blocks. Alright, there's a magic Koopa. No, that's just a chug. So yeah, overall I'm just like, yeah, it wouldn't have been fun to see a, it wouldn't, it's not fun to play against Min Min. It's like, oh, I'm getting forward smashed by it. Like, halfway across the stage. I mean, you just, just hit all the switches in the match because you don't die. Anyway. All that's left now is the staff, which is all the way up there. Just want to be careful. I don't want to fucking play the stage either. Oh, no way I'm going to miss this one. I'm Luigi. I almost fucked it up. No, get, get me the running, running start. Actually, wait, there's enough space here for me to do that. Okay, there you go. I can't reach it. Normally, like, I don't need the running start. I like the, 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 like, super running, I'll call it, I guess. Anyway, there you go. Course clear. Still those two green... There's two uh, green stars I missed, and the stamp. I don't know, I have the stamp. It's just the two green stars. Oh. Anyway. All we have left is the castle, and that little spot right there with Captain Toad from Super Mario Galaxy. 
Oh yeah, we only need 10 green stars. You don't need to collect every single one on a stage to get to the castle. Which is thankful, at least. Alright, you need to... Oh, you need, okay, change the controllers in the menu. Hang on a second, I just gotta... Gotta put the gamepad... Gamepad settings. Forgot about this, honestly. Gamepad. Load. There we go. Oh, hang on. Alright, yeah. Maybe I should just use the gamepad the entire time, because... Well, I mean... It's gonna be kind of awkward to switch back and forth once I get... Uh, once, I, once I have to do Captain Toad levels. <laughs> Captain Toad goes forth. So it's like a 3D puzzle right here with Captain Toad. You can't jump with this little guy. He showed up first in Super Mario Galaxy. He actually got his own game style around this, which is nice, you know? It's actually a pretty neat game. Captain Toad, Fearless Hunter of Green Stars is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course and search for five green stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Move the camera with the right with the right analog stick to see the course from another angle. You can also control the map by tilting. Okay, uh, well. Uh, no need to, for me to use motion controls. Anyway, he can indeed run at the very least. It's obviously a nice looking puzzle. I'm, I'm a fan of them. I'm a fan of these. Anyway. There we go. Green star. There's a green star back there. these guys to move and then um hang on a second the fuck do I do that um separate gamepad view see the finger here um hang on a second all right there we go I have to press the A button I, I couldn't set it to my, one of my mappings here, I guess. That's fine. Everything disappears! Uh, I think levels are gonna get longer with, like, at least later worlds, so... Maybe I won't be able to do every single, like, <laughs> level in a... I probably won't be able to do every single level in a, in a mission, but... Whatever. We're gonna at least do, like... We're gonna do the Bowser, Bowser, Bowser's castle in this episode. Do an entire world. Nah, come on, there you go. Bowser's Highway Showdown. This is a fucking weird boss fight. What's gonna happen? Then if you are these soccer ball bombs, you run into them and then yeah, it has to land on a wall or something. Oh, yeah, you can use the gamepad to uh, you can use the gamepad to like point out. I know I already mentioned that. You can use the gamepad to point out hidden shit. Anyway, here's this little star ring thing. And there you go. Ow, what the fuck? You have to be running, like, uh, and during, doing like the this thing to be able to kick it. Oh, oh god. Kitty power up, where are you? Now I'm just gonna kill myself. Whee! And with the kitty power, you can just like slash at the. 
you can just slash at the, the balls and you'll be good. Like right here, there you go. There you go, there's the stamp. Fuck me, are you serious? Okay, come on. Hopefully give me a- there you go, there's the bell. I didn't even need to kill myself. Why did I even do that? Anyway. Here we go, we got ourselves a second. Green star. Anyway, we gotta hurry ourselves up here. So we can get ourselves. Actually, I think there's something above it, so. Um, I mean, you can climb up the throngs, get ourselves 30 extra seconds, not like it matters, because you have so much time in this in this map anyways. Anyway, we already got every single collectible in this, in this war. Well, we got every single collectible in this level, not in this war, but we're still missing those two uh, green stars. Fuck. Oh, you can't run into those ones because those ones just explode. Oh, I just want to. I just want to hit those two. Get the extra time. I think it's just the time there, I guess. I just, I don't know, just one and had extra time. Alright. No cat suit for me for this level, but I think, yeah, it's perfectly doable for a cat suit in this boss fight. Now we got Bowser in his pimped out ride. Why does. I mean, I guess Bowser can't afford a. a, 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 a pimped out ride like this, but, you know, um. Kind of weird. Anyway, just kick the bombs towards him. It's very, um, very easy fight. There you go. Oh shit, it's lagging out here. There you go, that's the first phase done. Now he's gonna throw more, like, the second phase is him just throwing more bombs. Alright, I guess in this case, I'm just still fucking him in the ass. You know? But I'm pretty sure he, he he like either shoots fire in the second phase, or um, he uh, can, no no third phase he shoots fire. Second phase he sometimes he throws bombs that blow up instantly when you touch them. I believe so. Maybe that's I don't know. Ouchie. Okay, yeah, he was very close to hitting me. Anyway, yeah. You can reach the end of the platform and boss fight is still gonna go on. Alright, yeah, just one more hit. Oh, I've never seen this part of the fight. Really? Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now he throws, now he throws the exploding bomb. The ones that explode right away. And there we go. Lost by beaten. Very easy fight. So yeah, that's world one beaten very uh, easily. Just, just that one level that needs. Just that one level that needs uh, getting the two green stars I missed. Anyway, you know, there's still a flagpole here, so I mean, I have the cat suit, so it doesn't matter to me. 
I used the gamepad for that. I mean, I didn't even need the cat suit. For them Luigi motherfucker. Everything's disappearing! Uh, another cute little fact about Sprixie. A Spr that's Sprixie right there. Randomly showed up in Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. What's Mario Tennis Ultra Smash? Uh, something you don't remember unless you watch Scott the Waz. For good reason. <laughs> never fucking play Ultra Smash. Just never do it. Anyway, then we get these little magical hammers, I guess. And we build our way to the next world. Anyway, yeah, it's a 51 minute episode. Probably won't be doing any other episodes where it's the entire world, mainly just because how short this one was. So, anyway, I think this would be yeah, it's a good time to wrap it up here. So, next time on the, on the Super Mario 3D World Let's Play, we're going to be continuing our way to World 2. I will be doing this off camera. It's just the two green stars. You know where one of them is. I don't even remember where the other one is. What is the match? And then, of and then, of course, yeah, we're going to be doing World 2 next episode. Don't know how much of it we're going to do. Probably not all of it. Probably just, like, maybe around half of it, depending on how long it takes. It, it all depends on how long it takes for me to go through levels. Like, if it's, like, if I'm, like, 20 minutes in and I'm more than halfway through the world, then then I'm easily going to be able to finish the world in that episode. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.